Hello and welcome to the second video for Core Features and Navigation. Today I'm going to be taking you through forms and records and the reason for this is because CRM is designed primarily around the record creation and also building relationships between these records to get a spider's web uh, look of relationships that are going on within the company. For example, we can create contact records that relate to cases and we can also relate emails, which are records in themselves, to a contact. So we can build that spider's web and view that, have that 360 degree view of a customer. Okay, so we're in IAM Group's deployment of CRM online and you can see that I'm within the contacts area. Now I'm going to start with the contacts area because I feel that uh, I should sh start by showing you how to create a contact record. Uh, and creating records within CRM is generally the same process. Of course, there's going to be different field types um, to be using for the different record types. So I'm within the contacts area and you can see that I've defaulted to my active contacts and I can change that view just by clicking on that my contacts my active contacts area and you can see there's a number of uh, system views available to me which are just essentially out of box views and also I can build my own views as well which I won't be covering in this video however it's a very important and useful feature for you to be able to utilize so please take a look at the uh, related advanced find video for this information on how to create your own views. Just to show you how um, records are presented, if I click on the accounts area, you can see it's very much a similar look and feel. However, of course, we're looking at accounts now. Okay, so let's go back to contacts. And at the top of the ribbon, I can click on new to create a new form. What will happen is a blank form will open for a contact record and it will be ready for me to fill in information relating to the contact that I would like to capture. Before I go ahead and capture that information, just want to bring your attention to the different um, field types and um, also the security around that. First of all, you have to fill in all the mandatory fields and those are denoted by the red asterisks. There's also business recommended fields which are denoted by the blue cross. Those are fields which are just recommended by the business, however you will not be, you will not be stopped from saving them if you don't fill those in. And then also there's just non-mandatory which don't have any um, icon next to those, those fields. There's also different field types as well. So you can see I'm within salutation. This is just free text, so I can just type in any uh, number of characters. There's also date fields, so you can see for the birthday field I have the option to select a date, so let's just go ahead and do that. There's also pick list, which is a set number of options for the person to, to utilise, so for example I can select male for the gender. There is also, and most importantly, the lookup field, which is denoted by the magnifying glass. So you can see here for parent customer, I can relate an account to this contact that I'm creating. So I can state that an account record, a contact is, is part of that account. And this is all about building up that spider web of relationships that I talked about. So to go and fill this field in, I just go ahead and click on this magnifying glass. And you can see it's defaulted to a search of accounts for me. So I can either use that or if I cancel out of here, I can just type in the account name that I wish to, to add. And what CRM intelligently does is it goes and searches for any accounts which have um, the lettering that I've typed in there. And then I can pick from, from a set list. And of course, finally, there is also um, money fields. So I can say the credit limit is set to 100,000. And also tick box fields or radio buttons. So here for the credit hold, I can say yes or no, or that could even be changed to a tick box. Okay, so I'm gonna fill this record in. So through the magic of technology, I filled in those fields. And what I've also done is I've saved this record away. Now to save a record, you just use the ribbon at the top left here, and there's three different options. There's the option just to save the record, 
and keep it open, save and close, and also save and new. All I've done is just click save. The reason being is this unlocks the left hand nav bar over here for us to relate other information to this contact. So I have options to um, create more addresses for this contact. I also can relate any activities to this contact that I wish to have completed. Any closed activities, which is a very useful feature so that if, for example, one of your agents have gone on holiday and they've passed on this contact, the other agents can go into this contact and view all the previous communication that's taken place. And it acts as a very good audit for this type of communication. There's also any subcontacts, so any related contacts to this particular record, and also relationships and connections, which I'll be covering in a separate video. And then you can see below all this, we can relate any um, sales related records, any service related records, and any marketing related records. For example, I can see any marketing lists that this contact has been part of, or any campaigns that they've been part of as well. Okay, so that concludes creating a record, and I hope you've um, taken away just how simple it is to get records into CRM, and really it's the same process for any record that you're, you may be creating within here. So join me in the next video where I'll show you how to create activities. Thank you very much.